<laughs> Let the show begin now! Tonight on Pumped, Penelope Cruz and Selma Hayek take a potty break. It was disgusting. But you were looking at it. You crazy. Desperate Housewives Jesse Metcalf sets up his co-star Eva Longoria. Pull over right here. I need to pull over right now. Hey, Jess. Oh, my God. Can I have you step out of the car, open the door slowly? I'm shaking. And Mario finds himself in the wrong room at the wrong time. Oh, sorry, man. You did not take one peek at her breast assessment. No, I didn't take a peek at her breast assessment. It's all next on Punked. We put in a phone call to my friend Penelope Cruz. We said, who do you want to get? And she wants to get Selma Hayek. Adios mio. Selma and Penelope have a movie coming out this summer called Banditas. You got to check it out. Human beings are fascinated with their own feces. I don't know anyone that doesn't look at it. But one thing many people don't admit that they do, when you leave something in the stool that you're really proud of, you share it with your friends. Oh, come on. We've all done it. So Penelope has invited Selma out to dinner at my new restaurant, The Geisha House on Hollywood and Cherokee. Not to be confused with Dolce on Melrose and Sweetser. And when they get there, Penelope's gonna go down to the bathrooms and invite Selma down where she's gonna show off a big old poop. Do not try this at home. You wanna start with your basic stuff, which is a nutty bar. And you wanna create a squeezing motion. And there you go, that is one turd completed. And that's poop. <laughs> Kids, don't touch your poop. New season, new cast. Chris Elwood will be playing the manager of the restaurant. Dana will be playing a patron. Julia will be playing a waitress. And Jordan Black will be playing the bus boy. Look, it's my new stool. Bow! Excuse me, do you want something to drink? Um, no, I'm fine, thank you. I mean, it looks, it's good. Yeah, Stop looking at it. This is disgusting. <laughs> maybe it's too big. Then maybe a little shorter. I don't know. What do you think? It's kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> Podéis venir conmigo las dos a la vez por el tema de la educación. ¿Al baño? No, es que quiero que veas una cosa. Casi me desmayo. Una foto tuya. Pero no, que no, que no, que no, que no, que casi me desmayo, tía. Increíble. Me he quedado en la puerta sola, no sabía qué hacer, si llamar a alguien. No he visto una cosa igual en mi vida. Me he quedado aquí paralizada. Ay, pero ¿qué puede ser un paraíso de mierda? No, respira. No, respira. Mira eso. Excuse me. 
I just went downstairs to the bathroom. Those girls, they, they made a, the biggest mess in the bathroom. And it's leaking everywhere. They just took the biggest crap. Hey, Lucian, you said that you guys were in the bathroom and you came out laughing. Yeah, and no. you destroyed the bathroom. No, 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 no. She went to the bathroom and found the most disgusting thing and then came to us to go see it. Yeah, what happened? I can't even tell you. It wasn't you? Are you crazy? No, I'm so... And you came out and you were giggling and laughing? No, no, no. First of all, when she came, I was outside. They did the nice thing to try to flush it. What was it? It was a piece of people matter? You have no idea. It was disgusting. And then when they tried to flush it, it started coming out, and that's why they screamed and ran out. And now we're going to get blamed for it. Close. You're disgusting. It wasn't us. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's disgusting. I was outside when you walked in. Don't blame it on me. I don't know what you guys did. I was outside when you... Disgusting. Did. Was I inside even? Inside. It's disgusting. What I know, guys but and don't blame it on me. It? I can't believe this room. No, no, I don't know. You're maleducados and mucho cuidado. No, yeah. Can you explain to me what happened? It was disgusting. Oh they were brave enough to try to flush it because you don't want to know what's in there. And then when they tried to flush it, it started overflowing. Which one of you did it? No, none of us. We're going to have someone clean it up. Jordan, you didn't do it, but you were looking at it. It was a joke. She, she came to say, go oh with me to the bathroom. That's funny. That's not funny. Okay, calm down. Let me explain something. Okay. Of course it's not funny. I can't believe I'm having this conversation in your restaurant. We're in a restaurant, absolutely. It's this not very is, appetizing. Okay, they were brave enough to try to flush it. Great, they tried to flush the commode. Oh, no, flush it. it. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Chris, I'm not going to clean that up, man. That's I can't do that. I mean, you can send me home, whatever, but I'm not cleaning up a bunch of dookie. Okay, I am very mortified because it looks like everybody's staring at us, like we're blaming it on us. And this is very, very disturbing. I'm going in. And you have to understand, you have to understand that you guys came out laughing about no. it. So it looks like we have a customer saying they you call you coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I left it in there, I'm sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. Okay. You're a nightmare. And you were part of it? I woke up at 5 in the morning. No, I don't want to go back down there. Here we go. We are going to be punking Eva Long... Goria. I'm a housewife and I'm desperate. Jesse Metcalf will be our accomplice in this. Jesse Metcalf is gonna be driving in his car. He's gonna bail out and run in between these two houses. Now, we're gonna have a second squad car and basically the cops are gonna run around the other house. We're gonna interrogate Eva probably right about here. We're gonna have another squad car here to cut them off. We've got a camera here, a camera here. Another one here. Basically, we have this whole triangle kind of filled up. Eva's gonna get punked, and we're gonna be happy campers. Let's knock it out! Dana and Chris will be playing the cops. Jordan Black will be playing a pedestrian. Well, let's see how much she knows about the gardener that cuts her bushes. I was like... Yeah, it smells kind of funky. It smells kind of funky in here? Mm. Does it? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
Ma'am, ma'am. Oh my God. No, no. Ma'am, I need you to stay in the car. Okay. Stay in the car. All right. Man, I saw the whole thing, man. Sir, stand right there. You ran over there. Ma'am, ma'am. I need you to roll down your window. Roll down your window. I need you to put both hands outside the car. Okay. Put both hands outside the okay. car. Sir, stay right there. All right, can I have you step out of the car? Open the door slowly. Yeah. Keep your hands. Can I see one of your hands? Yeah. <laughs> Wave your hand around. I need you to save that hand. Wave it around. Right here. All right. Right there. Stay right there. Okay. Right there. We have a pursuit in progress. We need backup. <gasps> I am so scared. Don't right move. Just, I need to see both hands in the air, please. Okay. Pretty, okay. Why is that man running from us? I have no I idea. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Like, Why is he running? No. I have no idea. Can I have you stand right over here on the grass? What's going on? Oh, nothing. We just came from the studio. We shoot at Universal. Can you explain to me why he's running here? I have no idea. Can you tell me what his name is? Jesse Metcalf. Jesse Metcalf. Is this is this the gentleman here? Yeah, that's Jesse. Jesse. That doesn't say Jesse Metcalf. It says Oscar Alberni. Oscar Alberni. Do you know who that gentleman is? He shops at Sears. No, that's that's not. That's Can I see both of the hands just waving? I just want to see the hands waving, please. All right. Okay. Can I see your ID? I'm shaking. I know you're shaking. It's a it's a scary situation. It's a beautiful picture. Thank you. Very pretty. You have a boyfriend? Uh, Sorry. No. <laughs> Explain this, uh, no, Jesse slash Oscar. Why he carries this kind of cash around? No, I have no idea. Where do you lunch. work? Desperate Housewives. I don't know. It's a great show. Thank you. Yeah. Have you run the plates? Yeah, we ran the plates. The reason we were pulling them over, we had, we were checking a stolen vehicle, so I just want to let you know about that. Oh my God. Um, this is a lot of cash here. There's a lot of chicken fighting going on in this area, and uh, what's, what's that? Well, I can't go into that with you right now, oh. but I can tell you right now, if someone has a fake identity. All right, they're good hey at man, it. Hey, man, hey, man, I Sir, saw the whole thing. Can you step over here, please? Yeah, sick Kinko. Sick Kinko, your dog is cool. Um, look, I'm trying to put together a neighborhood watch because of stuff like this happening all the time in this neighborhood. Did you know this young woman? I was standing on the corner waiting on my dog to use the bathroom. I don't know her. I've seen this car in the neighborhood a bunch of times. And the dude, he ran that way. I don't know why you and your friend come to this neighborhood to do this. It's a quiet neighborhood. It used to be respectable. Suspects in custody. We got him. Oscar. Jack. Oscar. Oscar, you need to start talking, all right, because your friend here is implicated. All right, you guys are both going down to the station. So the faster you start talking, the better. I don't know anything. Jesse! I need you to just be quiet. Will you join the neighborhood? Why is and he running? Is I have no idea. This is all... I, I told him, I was like, Jesse, just pull over. I think they're following you. Call my boss right now. We just literally drove off the lot. Are I'm you lying taping. to me? I'm taping at... Des I'm Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you, honey. Ma'am, we have thousands honey, of dollars in cash I right know. here. I am Oscar Alberni. This is implicating you. Yeah, All right? I know. You're, it's called you're, aiding and abetting. I am not lying to you. Why would I lie to you? We have a lot of celebrities around. Why would I lie to you? This is, out, this is Los Angeles, Hollywood. No, honey, it's Hollywood, I know, right? I'm saying, why we would have a lot I of celebrities you? around. You <laughs> reveal. You yeah. reveal? Can I just see both hands up in the air, all right? Because it's making me nervous. Excuse me, ma'am. Ah, God! I hate you! Dude, I was freaking out, man. Dude, I'm sweating my ass off. Freaked me yeah. out. I got punked. Here at Punked, we make dreams come true. That's really what we're here for. Mario is an 18-year-old kid. What would be the fantasy of an 18-year-old kid? When I was 18, I loved seeing naked girls. I like it naked. I like the boobies. So in the spirit of making dreams come true, we're going to have Mario go into a hotel room where he thinks he's meeting his manager. But instead, we're going to have a beautiful naked woman waiting right there for him. Chris Elwood's playing hotel security, Julia's playing the hotel manager, and Jackie will be playing our naked woman. Sassy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, man. Who are you? Hey, come back here. Who are you? Who, who? Is there a problem? Yes, he came in my room. Go back in your room, you can put your clothes on, I'm you hotel better, security. You better catch him. Let's get out of the hall. Do we have an available room on 6? 6 11? No, no, I just want to get out of the hall. I don't want to alert any of the other guests. Yeah, yeah, you guys come on in. Can you tell me what's going on? Though? I'm supposed to be going in there to see my manager. I got it. That's ridiculous. 
Yeah, ma'am, go back to your room. You're making this a bigger issue than it needs to be, so I'm, please go back I'm, to your room. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm, 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 the hotel manager is going to come up here. We're going to talk. I want you to stay here. Are you serious? What did you see? Did you guys see anything? Nobody mm -hmm. saw anything. Okay. And she came, who are you? What are you talking about? Like, nobody was harm anybody. You don't know her? No. Okay. <laughs> Why is it funny? I'm it's funny because I can't believe this is happening. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank just, you. I am shaking. Okay, okay. That's him. I saw his shoes. That's him. No, wait, you saw me come in your room? Okay, you know. Okay, just a sec, guys. Okay. I'm okay. You have to understand. It looks bad, but it looks bad. You guys are going into an old lady's room. No, now you're being sarcastic. No, it's not funny. I'm not being, I'm not trying to be funny, my man. No, because that's not funny, Coop. That's not funny at all to me. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. What just happened? That's all I need to know. He's an artist. We're switching him to 609. You paint? Okay. You hold paint? on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Let me finish. I just okay. heard artists. Are you trying to be funny? Why are you saying you're trying to be funny? I'm a painter, sir. This is a serious situation. I have an interest in painting. Okay. What, what does that have to okay. do with me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do okay. I paint? So I understand where you're coming from. I don't think y'all do understand where we're coming from. Hey. Robert, can I just speak I'm with you for a second? Out in the hall. All right. I just want okay. to explain the situation. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. What name are you staying under? An uh, alias name. Okay, why are you staying under an alias name? Because I'm an artist. You're an artist. Like a painter? Are you... <laughs> nah, I'm an R&B artist. Oh, R&B. How you okay. doing? How you I'm doing? Hi, Andy. Nice to meet you. Do what? you do what? I'm a hotel manager. Oh, okay. So okay. you just have to understand, this woman, she's older. She says that you came in. She said you were oogling her breasts. You did not take one peek at her breastesses at all. No, I didn't take a peek at her breastesses. You're young. Your hormones are out of control. You see an open Why would I mess with an a elderly lady? Like, why she? I don't know. Why would you? So you're accusing me? I'm not accusing you, but some people are into that. Okay, well, you want to try it? Because I don't like this situation. First of all, her door was open. It shouldn't it have been open. It was open? Yes, her door was open. Looked in there. The lady said, oh, my God, who are you? What are you doing? So you're saying she was asking for it for you guys to come in there? No, she wasn't asking for us to come in here, but I thought he left the door open for me because he told me to come to his room. Is she got eye problems? Because when she pointed at me, she sure didn't look me in my eyes. She didn't? No, she didn't. Were so, you looking in her eyes, or were you looking at her breastuses? All right, and now you're trying to be funny, just like, what's his name, Scott? That's not funny. This is not funny to me. Well, I don't want this woman to press charges or call the cops or get anyone involved. Here. So bring her in here. Bring the old lady back in bring here? Bring the old lady with the breasts back in here. Please. Pour the favor. All right. Bring her in here. She's very I, dramatic. Listen, kiddo. I kiddo? don't know who you think you are. Did you want to have sex or something? <laughs> Mrs. Duvall. I think you did. Because you, you you bringing up the breasts this thing and it, all of this. I think you the one that really attracted want, to young men. And it's cool you're attracted to young men. People you want to press charges? You. That's what this has come down well, to. Well, I, I think I might have to. I think I might have to do something. What are you talking about? I know what you wanted to see. What did I want to see? I know what he wanted to see. What did I want to see? What did he want to see? You ready? Hey! No, oh, I'm not ready. Hey! This is too put long. your clothes on. Hey! Oh, okay. Put your clothes on. I don't want to see. Somebody got it coming. 